this time, Dr. Otherford is seen playing with his bouncy balls. <sighs> Chilly afternoon. Looks like you found a tennis ball. Doesn't bounce very far, does it? Are you going to make this ball leapfrog then? You'll need a much larger ball for that. What on earth is that? Did you obtain that on one of your trips to the colonies? What do they call it over there? Basketball? Place the tennis ball on top of the basketball and release both simultaneously. Oh, that's a much more impressive leap. Look at that. The basketball is the first to hit the ground and rebounds upwards, causing it to collide with the still falling tennis ball. As the balls are moving in opposite directions, they are actually approaching each other at twice their original speed. The basketball is very massive and it is hardly slowed by the impact. And because the basketball is also moving upwards before the collision, we have to add that speed to the tennis ball too, meaning that the tennis ball actually bounces off at up to three times its original speed. The same science occurs when a tennis player hits the ball, although luckily the players use rackets instead of basketballs. So now you know how the pros handle their balls at Wimbledon. Goodbye, Dr. Otherford.